श्रीवास जी के निकट राघव पंडित इस ग्रंथ के मन के महिमा वर्णन करते हैं They were protecting uh, Radha so strongly that Krishna, there was no opportunity for them to meet. So Krishna, Rasik Sheka Krishna, Dilalitnaya, is so many clever ways of meeting with Radha. So he came here and he began to sing very, very sweetly, like Kokil. Uh, very, very sweetly. Nobody had ever heard such a beautiful Kokil. So Lalita Vishaka, they were listening, they could hear, oh, this is Sham Sunday. he wants to meet with our, uh, our Swamini team. But hearing this Kokil, then they went to Jyotil and Kokil and they said, oh, listen, this bird is very, very unusual Kokil bird. And they began to glorify the singing of this bird. And then they said, we think... <laughs> so, Jyoti and Kotila, they also are listening all oh, they became also very, very enchanted. Huh? Very beautiful Kokyo. So then, Lalita Vishraka suggested that maybe we can come and take Darshan of this Kokyo bird. So, Jyoti, uh, Jyoti and Kokyo said, yes, this is a very good idea. So, Lalita Vishraka, uh, Shimati Radhika, the Sakis, they came to this forest. Uh, watch out for the... Watch out for the monkey. Uh, then all the Sakis came and they had darshan of this very beautiful Kokyo bird. So who is this Kokyo? Oh, Shamasunda. Up a friction tree, 5,000 years old, bending and bowing in separation, Viraha, from Radha Krishna. Remembering Radha Krishna pastimes, bowing like this. So every year we come and we pay obeisances to this tree. Pujapad, Ban Maharaj explained, this Kunda is called Ratnakara Kund. Ratnaka means jewels. So, Sakis used to come and they would offer milk and yogurt in the Kund. And then by the mercy of Brinda Devi and Yogamaya, this Kund would produce so many jewels and ornaments. And with these jewels and ornaments, they would decorate Shishi, Jugala Kishore, Radha and Krishna. So, this popular one, very big now. Maybe five miles every year round day and a big hurry so very famous here so many persons maybe last last people coming in Saturday and
by Sri Vishnath Chakravarti Thakur in his book Chamatkar Chandrika. So once, uh, what happened, Srimati Radhika used to go to uh, for, uh, for uh, worshipping Surya Dev, but actually uh, she was going to meet Krishna. Then she also used to go to uh, Nand Bhavan to cook for Krishna because it was said that she has a bone from Durvasa Rishi that whoever eats her food cooked by her will live for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I told something. For <laughs> you. Uh, I will tell them. Now it is about ten. I will tell them. 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 Come, Doctor Shakti, come. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare Hare Yes, it's the Guru Ram Ji Kaag Di Rada Kupna Ti Ujjayi Jito Shri Guru Vada Nuttala Pichu Nuttala Jai Shri Bhutcha Nuttala Jai Jito Chau Shri Prabhupada Jai Jai Bhutti Tan Chaku Pichu Jai Bhutku Vishnu Babi Gauri Maat Ki Pratishtha Tha Nuttala Pichu Nuttala Pichu Nuttala Pichu लेकिन ये देखना महापुरु के मनोबिज को पूर्ण नहीं किया आपने अपना मौत प्रचार किया यह ये जासन आप हो अच्छे शास्त्र हो बहुत कोई उसने मारा थी नहीं आप बहुत बहुत करके सुना है नगराता तो भगवान गुरु महाराज के स्वाधीन मंदिर के सामने जो बिना उससे हुआ था पर उस जो असल भक्ति को पूरी मस्त गुस्सा ही मारे हैं दो तीन साल स्वाभाविक आश्रम को लिया है ऐसा दिन भाव से भाषण देते थे कि सब के आँखों में आँसू आते हैं बहुत दिन ये महापुरुष की बात है। अगर कीर्तन होगा तो करना होगा तो ये चार गुण लाभ हैं। दहिना, दाया, अन्य मान, प्रतिष्ठा बोलने। हमारे परम परम पूजा। The first time Sri Lalpuri Vaya stuck out to me was in Navadvi when he came to the ashram of Sri Lalpati Rakshika Shila Maharaj where. You would always meet him, undoubtedly. Uh, he, he was like, they were like associates of a very particular kind. Uh, anyhow, just seeing Puri Maharaj, you got enchanted. You all know that just as much as me. You, you have met him so many times. So one time I saw him and I uh, decided to give a donation to him. And I wanted to actually give this donation. He started yelling at me. This is not for me! This is for Shmita Maharaj! I said, no, please, I, I wish to give something to you. Maybe, maybe, be so kind for your Seva Puja. No, Shmita Maharaj! <coughs> Anyhow, I said, I promise I give another one to Shmita Maharaj. <laughs> and finally he relented. So, uh, the, that very sweetness, something, something little things get stuck in your mind when you meet a person which just enchant your heart 
And this is one of things, disinterested nature. So disinterested, he just wants to give. He doesn't want to take anything. He's not there to get something. He's there to give something. And when you feel that, you say, wow, I'm in the right spot here. I'm in the right lotus feet where I'm going to get stuck. Keep stuck there. Another thing also, the common sense. Srila Bhakti Prabhupada Purimaj had such an incredible common sense. He could understand any situation, by my experience, immediately. He could gather the whole, even he didn't need to know all the details. He could appreciate the feeling, the intentions. He had such an incredible common sense. And he would immediately bring about a harmonizing situation. He would harmonize. He, his nature was harmonizing. Vaishnavism, uh, Srila Bhakti Rakakshina used to say, is the proper adjustment, even in difficult moments in this life, to have the proper adjustment to put things in the right proportion. So <laughs>
his unlimited kindness and mercy. He has dragged not only a person like myself, but hundreds and thousands of Vaishnavas from all over the world to this holy dham year after year after year to receive the unlimited mercy. Shri Braj Mandala, Shri Prindavan Dham, Shri Golar Dham. And for this, I'm, there's no way that I can even begin to thank Srila Gurudev for his unlimited kindness in this regard. When I came on the first Braj Mandala Parikrama in 1994, and at that time, there was only about maybe 25 or so Western devotees. Think through our Srila Prabhupada's letters, and in 1968, very early on in the movement, he was speaking so many high things. When he first came to New York, I was studying those early New York classes, and as Bhagavad pointed out, he was talking about Radha Dasham and so many things. And in 1968, he wrote a letter and he said, I think that in a couple of years from now, when my first students have attained to Bob, then they can initiate and I will write books. That was 1968. And in 1976, he said, to all the sannyasis that are falling down, we should at least try to do Varnashram Dharma. Uh, so he saw what is our adhikar for our uh, Krishna consciousness. So, Gurudev has come and he's kind of tricked all of us. And he even admitted it in the first Navadvi Parikramo I went to. At the end of it he said, Please, I know that I promised you that you would get praying at the end of this Parikramo. And so you all came and you're all very eager, but it will take a little more time. So please forgive me. So, in the same way, he went back to basics. So what I really got from this prayer from Srila Gurudev were your classes every evening and morning. Thank you very much for Upadesha Amrita, Manasiksha, and Vajranasha. And you started out Vajra Begum, but now you've taken us up to Bhav. So thank you very much, Gurudev, for... showing us where we're at, but also giving us some goal where we should want to be. Hare Krishna. We got you at all the time. So we didn't get to hear her. Hamari Parikrama. Shri Gurudev explained that now our Parakrama has come to an end. We have completed our Brahmana Parakrama for this year. But now all of you return to your respective places. But you should not go empty handed. But all should leave taking something with them in their bags. Taking what? The teachings of Srila. Rupa Goswami Pad, the prayers of Srila Prabodhananda Sarasati and other teachings that we've been hearing from Srila Gurudev on the basis of Srila Bhakti Nautakos Bhajan Rahasya. And when devotees return to their places, what should they do? Just as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed the residents of Kuliya when they were leaving, Jagannath Puri returning to their homes, he told them, Prabhu Kahe Vaishnava Sanjana Nam Sankirtan. Do we commission to public Sri Krishna Charan? If you want to quickly attain the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, then always engage yourself in Vaishnava Seva and Hari Nam Sankirtan. Because, because this life, I'm not going to last. This life is very short. It is like a matter of only two or three days. We are not like Prakshit Maharaj. 
Krishna Maharaj had a guarantee that he would live for seven days. But we don't have any guarantee.